have been reserved for the king's pleasure. Therefore, the king's portion is reserved for you. A prepared position awaits you with the king of kings sitting at the head of the table. He desires that you sup with him in the presence of your enemies. By accepting his personal invitation, your needs are met, the desires of your heart fulfilled, and to top it off, you will receive the exceeding abundant above all you can ask for or even think of. Imagine that. The more you understand the king's heart, without a shadow of a doubt, you will begin to make more room for heaven's treasures. Welcome to King's Portion. This is Catherine Joy Foster. And the theme of our program today is Kingdom of God, New World Order. And this is part five. We're going to look throughout Colossians, the first, second, and third chapters. And this is from the Passion Translation. We're first going to look in Colossians, the first chapter, the 15th through the 20th verses. And it reads, Jesus is the divine portrait, the true likeness of the invisible God and the firstborn heir of all creation. For through the Son, everything was created, both in the heavenly realm and on earth. All that is seen and all that is unseen, every seat of power, realm of government, principality and authority, it was all created through him and for his purpose. He existed before everything, anything was made. And now everything finds completion in him. He is the head of the body, which is a church. And since he is the beginning and the firstborn heir in resurrection, he is the most exalted one holding first place in everything. For God is satisfied to have all his fullness dwelling in Christ. And by the blood of of the cross. Everything in heaven and earth is brought back to himself, back to its original intent, restored to innocence again. So he's talking about you. Look at this and consider this. Sin consciousness is a disguise to keep you from approaching the throne and sitting in heavenly places next to Jesus Christ. But when you recognize and realize you are accepted in the beloved and covered by his blood, you will shake off condemnation and step up to the occasion to reign as Jesus would in this world to bring heaven on earth. I'll be right back after this message from my sponsor. Please plan to stay tuned for the entire program today. The Catherine Joy Foster Music Ministries is a 21st century multimedia marketplace ministry. In your discovery, you will find the power of God present to go where you are, to take you where Jesus is, raising you up, repairing you, restoring you, so that you can be as Jesus is in this world. Now available for workshops, banquets, conferences, webinars, concerts, prayer meetings. You can call area code 216-486-8615, extension 1. Again, that's area code 216-486-8615, extension 1. Proud to be an advertiser for King's Portion Web Radio. Welcome back to King's Portion. Again, the theme of our program today is... Kingdom of God, New World Order. Sin consciousness is the disguise to keep you from approaching the throne and sitting in heavenly places next to Jesus. But when you recognize and realize you have been accepted in the beloved and covered by Jesus' blood, you will shake off condemnation and step up to the occasion to reign as he would in the earth. That is to bring heaven on earth. Now that first Scriptures that we read are dealing with our completion in him, that we have nothing missing, lacking, and broken. Now, the next part that we're going to talk about is our connection or reconnection to him, which is taken from Colossians, the first chapter, the 21st through the 23rd verses. And it reads, even though you were once distant from him, living in the shadows of your evil thoughts and actions, he reconnected you back to himself. He released his supernatural peace to you through the sacrifice of his own body 
as a sin payment on your behalf so that you would dwell in his presence. And now there is nothing between you and God the Father, for he sees you as holy, flawless, and restored. If indeed you continue to advance in faith, assured of a firm foundation to grow upon, never be shaken from the hope of the gospel you have believed in. And this is the glorious news I preach all over the world, saying that we are reconnected to Jesus Christ. And we have to make sure that he is the one that we know he's the one that's able to put us all back together again so that we would be holy, that's clean and cleansed and preserved that way, that we would be flawless, that we are perfected in him, and then that we were restored. And we are restored to a new and living way. He connected us and reconnected us. Why? Because he's the only one and he's the one and only one who can do that for you, for me. On our program today, you're going to enjoy the music of William Seth. Now let's listen to him as he presents One and Only. Voice to you. I live my voice. 
us on the web at blog.kingsportionlive.com. That's blog.kingsportionlive.com. Thanks for staying tuned to King's Portion. Again, the theme of our program today is Kingdom of God, New World Order. The message we'd like to leave for you today is simply this. Sin consciousness is the disguise to keep you from approaching the throne and sitting in heavenly places next to Jesus. But when you recognize and realize you are accepted in the beloved and covered by his blood, you will shake off condemnation and step up to the occasion to reign as Jesus would in this world to bring heaven on earth. Yes, we talked about our completion in Jesus Christ, that there's nothing missing, lacking, or broken. We've talked also about our connection or reconnection to Jesus Christ, which means he's put everything back together again. And now we're going to talk about the circumcision from Colossians, the second chapter, the ninth through the 13th verses. And it reads, for Jesus is the complete fullness of deity living in human form. And our own completion is now found in him. We are completely filled with God as Christ's fullness overflows within us. He is the head of every kingdom and authority in the universe. Through our union with him, we have experienced circumcision of heart. All of the guilt and power sin has been cut away and is now extinct because of what Christ, the anointed one, has accomplished for us. For we've been buried with him into his death. Our baptism into death also means we were raised with him when we believed in God's resurrection power. The power that raised him from death's realm. The realm of death describes our former state. For we were held in sin's grips. But now we've been resurrected out of that realm of death never to return for we are forever alive and forgiven of all our sins so this circumcision is saying we're cutting away from our heart the things that's going to cause us to have a heart attack a spiritual heart attack which means that we are not able to pump everything out of us and reproduce and believe what God said is true about us, about him, about the devil. But our circumcision of heart is really important simply because it's the heart that causes us to change what we believe. And it's the heart that Jesus works in and through to bring us the things that he desire for us to have at the level he desires us to have it. If so, if he can get it in you, he can get it to you. So you have to realize that it's the change of a heart so that we can believe the best, so that we can receive the best, so that we can be the best in the earth, the new creation. I'll be right back after this message from our sponsor. I was just standing there, basking in the sun, and all of a sudden, I was soaking wet. There wasn't a sign in the 
sky. So I was unprepared without an umbrella. But in the end, it just didn't matter. I loved every minute of it. I knew I was living under open heavens. It really does give new meaning to being overtaken by blessing. Not a dry spot. This is Fran the Fan of H-D-O-R. Uh-oh, here comes the rain again. You've been listening to King's Portion Live with web host Catherine Joy Foster. Thanks for staying tuned to King's Portion, which bears the theme today, Kingdom of God, New World Order. We're talking about your completion, your connection, your circumcision, and now we're going to talk about cancellation, and that's taken from Colossians, the second chapter, the 14th and 15th verses. Why is this? Because sin consciousness is the disguise that will keep you from approaching a throne and sitting in heavenly places next to Jesus. But when you recognize and realize you have been accepted in the blood and covered by the blood of Jesus, you will shake off any condemnation and step up to the occasion to reign as Jesus would in this world to bring heaven to earth. So let's read the scripture and it says that Jesus is the one who counseled out every legal violation we had on our record in the old arrest warrant that stood to indict us. He erased it all, our sins, our stained soul. He deleted it all and they cannot be retrieved. Everything we once were in Adam has been placed onto his cross and nailed permanently there as a public display of cancellation. Then Jesus made a public spectacle of all the powers and principalities of darkness, stripping away from them every weapon and all their spiritual authority and power to accuse us. And by the power of the cross, Jesus led them around as prisoners in a procession of triumph. He was not their prisoner. They were his. Jesus wants you to live free because he has made you free. And the more truth that we understand that freedom increases that you know that there's no chains that are binding you. We're going to listen to William Sutter again, and let's listen to his presentation of Free Indeed. And I'll be right back. Yeah. 
for staying tuned to King's Portion. Again, the theme of our program today is Kingdom of God, New World Order. What does that mean for us? Sin consciousness is the disguise to keep you from approaching the throne and sitting in heavenly places next to Jesus. But when you recognize and realize you have been accepted in the blood and covered by the blood of Jesus, you will shake off any condemnation and step up to the occasion to reign as Jesus would in this world to bring heaven to earth. Yes, today we have talked about our completion in him where we have nothing missing, lacking and broken. We talked about our connection or reconnection to him, which means that he put everything back together again. We also talked about our circumcision, which we're cutting away the things that would create problems. And then we also deal with cancellation, we eliminate things that could cause us premature death. And now we're going to talk about the crucifixion. And let's look in Colossians, the third chapter, the first through the fourth verses, which reads, Christ Resurrection is your resurrection too. That is why we are to yearn for all that is above. For that's where Christ sits enthroned at the place of all power, honor, and authority. Yes, feast on all the treasures of the heavenly realm and fill your thoughts with heavenly realities and not with the distractions of the natural realm. Your crucifixion with Christ has severed the tie to this life. And now your true life is hidden away in God, in Christ. And as Christ himself is seen for who he really is, who you really are will also be revealed. For you are now one with him in his glory. So it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks of you. Heaven has responded to your promotion that cannot be stopped by anyone on earth and anyone in hell. Why? Because there was a crucifixion which we are dead to sins and trespasses. We also have died to exist, to sin. We have now no divided focus, but our whole gaze is on heaven and on the things of the kingdom of God and the new world order that we're accepting as our own. And it's really not new. It just may be unrecognized and unrealized. But today, we can say that we can offer Jesus' invitation 
to you to accept. Because he says, when he died, you died. When he was raised, you were raised. So that means all you need to do is accept that and quit crawling around on the earth like a caterpillar and rise to the occasion so you can fly and soar on top of the world because you're releasing Jesus Christ to rule. Why don't you say this prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of every sin and I ask you to cleanse me from all unrighteousness and all sin consciousness that I receive you as Lord and Savior. That you come in and you rise and live big in me and be the king in me because I have a king in my midst and it's you, Jesus. I believe that old things have passed away and all things are new. And I receive you right now. Thank you for my new birth and salvation. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, if you said that prayer, why don't you email us at info at kingsportionlive.com. That's info at kingsportionlive.com. And we'll send you some encouragement along the way. Now, let's return to remaining portions of King's Portion Live after this message from our sponsor. We invite you to visit our new interactive website. Please log on to www.kingsportionlive.org. That's www.kingsportionlive.org. We believe that you will discover something that will speak to the royal blood in you. Thanks for staying tuned for the conclusion of our program today, which bears the theme, Kingdom of God, New World Order. So what does that mean? Sin consciousness is a disguise to keep you from approaching the throne and sitting in heavenly places next to Jesus. But when you recognize and you realize that you have been accepted in the beloved and covered by Jesus' blood, you will shake off any and every condemnation and step up to the occasion to reign as Jesus would in this world to bring heaven on earth. We're going to look at our final scriptures from Colossians, the third chapter, the fifth through the 11th verses. And it reads, live as one who has died to every form of sexual sin and impurity. Live as a one who died to diseases and desires for forbidden things including the desire for wealth, which is the essence of idol worship. When you live in these vices, you ignite the anger of God against these acts of disobedience. That's how you once behaved, categorized by your evil deeds. But now it's time to eliminate them from your lives once and for all, anger, fits of rage, all forms of hatred, cursing, filthy speech, and lying. Lay aside your old Adam self with its masquerade and disguise. For you have acquired new creation life, which is continuously being renewed into the likeness of the one who created you, giving you the full revelation of God. In this new creation life, your nationality makes no difference, nor your nephcity, nor your ethnicity, education, or economic status. They matter nothing, for it is Christ that means everything as he lives in every one of us. So now we're saying that everything we talked about about from the beginning that our completion in him that there's nothing missing lacking or broken that our reconnection or connection to him he's putting everything back together so everything works as he intended to originally our circumcision that he has helped us to cut away those things that seem even at addiction levels 
He's also counseling out, eliminating anything that could stop our progress in the earth, as well as our crucifixion, understanding that when he died, we died too. When he rose, we rose too. We just have to understand that there is a new creation and allow him to make you new. So all things are new. This is Catherine Joy Foster for King's Portion, where we speak to the royal blood in you. You have been listening to the King's Portion with radio host Catherine Joy Foster. Today's podcast is available for download. Log on to blog.kingsportionlive.com or email info at kingsportionlive.com.